exoplanet lovers in this uh, four minute video i want to briefly summarize the results of the paper we are presenting today in astronomy and astrophysics about the further char characterization of the benchmark system lhs 1140. this star is an m4 dwarf it's located 40 years light years away and it was already known to host two planets from previous studies by Ment and Dittmann and collaborators. The inner planet is called LHS 1140c and has an orbital period of around 3.8 days. And the outer planet is called LHS 1140b and has a periodicity of 24 days. This is very interesting because it means that planet B is located inside the habitable zone of this host star. And both planets uh, Potential, are potentially having rocky compositions. Given its interesting properties, we decided to further explore the system by using the ESPRESSO instrument located at the Paranal Observatory in the Atacama Desert. We obtained more than 110 radial velocity, new radial velocity data points over a time span of 1.5 years, doubling the amount of uh, HARPS epochs. As you can see in this uh, figure, uh, here it's the HARPS uh, dataset and here is the new ESPRESSO dataset we are presenting today. Also, uh, TESS observed the system and could detect four transits of the inner planet and one transit of the outer planet. The joint analysis of this uh, beautiful dataset shows the clear detection of the two known planets as you can see in this in these um, uh, panels in the top panels uh, we show the radial velocity for lhs 1140b and lhs 1140c here uh, face folded with their periods and below you can see the face folded test light curves showing the transits this uh, data set has allowed us to uh, uh, determine the properties of these two planets with unprecedented precision, as I was saying, and their mass and their radius now place these two planets on top of the Earth-like bulk density line in this mass-radius diagram. Interestingly, the radial velocity also suggests, suggests the presence of a third planet in the system right beyond the habitable zone with a 79-day period. Although the detection of the signal is clear, the three-planet model is slightly not yet favor with the current data. Unfortunately, uh, our ephemerates predict that the transit of this planet candidate will not be visible in the reobservation of this star in test cycle 3. This third planet is in the edge between super-Earths and mini Neptunes, and only its size will reveal on which side of the force it is. So it's located here, probably in this mass radius diagram. With the high precision uh, obtained for the two inner planets, however, we could perform a study of their internal composition. We found LHS 1140b is basically half core and half mantle with a large water, frac water fraction of 4%. This implies LHS 1140b has between 5 and 8 times more water than Earth. Hence, is this planet a water world in another planetary system? The evidence that we have now says so. On the other side, the inner planet being way less massive is mostly composed by a huge core twice the one of the Earth and a 40% of its mass in the mantle, with an negligible water content as expected for this short period. As a bonus track, we explored the possibility of co-orbital worlds to the two confirmed planets. We found no evidence of co-orbitals in the habitable zone planet, but we found positive evidence for a small co-orbital of the inner world at its Lagrangian point L4, although with no statistical significant significance with the current radial velocity data set. However, the test light curve shows a shallow dimming at this exact position, providing additional hints for, the pre for its presence. More data, as usual, 
is needed to unveil this exotic scenario, so stay tuned for more news from the Re Remote Worlds Lab.